folks, this is Adria, and I'm going to let you know what I'm doing over here with my MacBook. It had trouble booting up, so before I run uh, the repair permissions and verify disk and all that, uh, I'm running a backup, so I want to explain how things are going. This is my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, I have a 320-gig external hard drive right here by G-Disk. I picked that up at the Apple Store last April when my hard drive died. Anyway, here's what I'm doing right now. Um, this was a single partition. I'm using Super Duper, which will create an image. Uh, an image is basically a snapshot of the entire hard drive. That includes the operating system, all the applications, and all your data. And uh, with Macs, those can actually be bootable as well, which is great. Anyway, the thing with Super Duper is it will wipe uh, the drive in which you do the image to, right? So what I am doing before I do that is I am actually, and there's a screenshot over on Flickr, I am actually um, creating two partitions um, on that drive. And so it was fairly straightforward to do. Um, just had to go in here to my disk utility, which is inside um, applications, utilities, there's disk utility. And I selected uh, the hard drive the external one, which is connected via FireWire. That's another thing too with Macs. Uh, if you want to boot from an external drive, it needs to be FireWire. So that's why I was so excited that they came out with the 13-inch MacBook Pro that had FireWire, boom, last year. Anyway, um, I have it selected. I went to partition and basically I did a drag, kind of a drag drop sort of thing to basically make the existing partition as just a little bit bigger than the data that was on it. I have about 50 gigs of mostly like older videos, things that I don't need. Uh, and then the larger part of the, of the partition now um, is about 250 gigs. Uh, my actual hard drive here mm, is like 150 gigs. So it'll be more than enough space. Um, there is a free version of Super Duper and then there's a paid version. The paid version, which costs about $27, allows you to do smart updates, which is kind of like Time Machine where you can basically do incremental updates to an existing um, image. Otherwise, each time you want to kind of, you know, add to the image, you actually have to rewrite the whole thing. And if you have an older computer or you don't have much memory, it could take hours. Uh, I used SuperDuper on my sister's computer back in like 2008. Oh my God, her computer was so slow. Of course, um, she had like one of the original MacBooks, like, oh my God, it was like from 2004. Anyway, this is a very fast system. I do plan to upgrade it from um, the four gigs that it has now up to eight gigs, so I'm excited about that. But I'm doing the backup because I don't want to lose any data. Plus, um, the corruption issue uh, is in the file system. So far, the smart status, smart tells you about the health of your uh, hard drive, although it gives you like no warning if something's gonna fail. Um, it'll just tell you if stuff is working or not. But it's not reporting um, that there are any problems right now. And boom, um, it has just finished. And now it's saying, do you want to use the second drive uh, with Time Machine? And then it says, Time Machine keeps an up-to-date copy of everything on your Mac. It is not. It not only keeps a spare copy of every file, it remembers how your system looked so you can revisit your Mac as it appeared. So I suppose I could use Time Machine instead. Just I'm comfortable with Super Duper. And I don't know which will be faster either. Oh, it's like, oh, it's very challenging. I may have to Google this and see which is faster because that's the other thing too. I don't know if my hard drive is failing. What I do know is my Mac is heating up again like it did before, so the drive could fail. I need this backup to happen quickly. I will update you guys in the future to let you know what happened. Bye. Hey folks, update to my last video about the backups I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and use Super Duper because according to the smokingapples.com article, Time Machine does not create a bootable backup. So for backing up my files, I'm gonna keep using mosey.com. Uh, it's five bucks a month now. They are implementing uh, file restrictions, but I'm probably not gonna go over those. So I'm sticking with Super Duper. Just wanted to give you an update and yeah, make sure you back up no matter what it is. Talk to you later, bye.